Hello, my name is Michael Wright, owner of Golden Time Coffee, Cafe, and founder of the Selby Avenue Jazz Fest. Tonight we close with the 2020 Selby Avenue Jazz Fest virtual edition with the performance from Inacio Nachito Herrera, hot classic Latin jazz pianist, arranger, composer, and orchestra conductor. As many of you know, Nachito has earned a reputation for being one of the greatest Cuban pianists ever. Longtime Jazz Fest attendees may recall his amazing set at our 2018 event. In fact, many Jazz Fest regulars still comment on his great performance that drew a standing ovation. This will be Natito's first major performance since overcoming COVID-19 earlier in the year. The 2020 Selby Avenue Jazz Fest is presented by Golden Time Coffee Cafe. Check out our new location at 934 Selby, across the street from our former spot, and the great folks at AARP Minnesota. Additional sponsors include Move Minnesota, U.S. Bank, and XL Energy. We'd like to thank Braxton Halsley and everyone at Walker West Music Academy for allowing us to use their great facilities. we also like to thank the Metropolitan Regional Arts Council. I don't remember specifically the first time I voted, but I can tell you it was in 1968, and it was here in Minnesota. For people thinking about sitting out this election, I would say the United States Constitution begins with we the people, and it is our government. I think democracy dies when people don't participate. Voting gives us a chance to be involved in ensuring justice, and it's the most effective way to have all of our voices heard. The pandemic has revealed that it is a matter of life and death, how our government functions. I think we have both an obligation, but also the opportunity to change it. Voting matters. Casting your ballot matters. At Excel Energy, we're dedicated to providing 100% carbon-free energy by 2050. But we can't do it alone. We need your help. That could mean changing from this old light bulb to this LED light bulb, or getting a smart thermostat to go with your smartphone, smart watch, smart lights, and smart everything else, or enlisting our home energy squad to make your home more efficient. So let's do this. Let's build a carbon-free future. You, us, together. Well, hey everybody, my name is Teresa Thompson Nix. Move Minnesota is excited to co-sponsor the 2020 Jazz Fest with Golden Time Cafe. Last year, we got together for a community-led bike ride and it was so good. Although we're not able to connect this year, we want to stay connected. Please visit our website at www.movemn.org slash jazzfest2020. There you'll discover a community bike ride route that goes through the historic neighborhoods of Rondo and Frogtown in St. Paul. You'll discover a fun and climate friendly route and you'll discover local businesses and historic landmarks along the way. Golden Time, we thank you for your support of the community and enjoy the show. Finally, we'd like to thank everyone who has shared their Saturday evenings throughout the month of September. I'm sure all the performers also appreciate it. Without further ado, Cuban piano legend, Nachito Herrera. Hi everyone, how you doing? Uh, welcome to my house. This is uh, the room I used to spend a lot of time of my life uh, with my piano. It's in a Steinway piano, a concert grand D9, so it is a, a big one. And uh, for me, I really like the sound, but uh, before I start to play, I definitely want to say that thanks so much to my dear friends, Mike Wright, um, Dave Bunko, and all the people who make it possible this uh, Selby Jazz Festival, even under this very nonsense uh, circumstances, which uh, hopefully sometime soon we will be back to the stage and be with all of you. But uh, so far, well, as you know, I am uh, getting recovered for the COVID-19, but it's uh, 
a pleasure and an honor for me to be part of this wonderful jazz festival. And here we got a selection of a few Cuban tunes and jazz and Latin jazz uh, for you today. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Welcome.
Let me pick up the mic first. <laughs> Thank you so much to all of you. I hope you like it. This is the first tune. It's called uh, Tulipan 410. Tulipan, it is actually the name of the street in Havana, uh, which uh, well, lots of different cultural things happen around there. Um, the rhythm I was trying to play at the very beginning is uh, it is actually called a Wawanko. Wawanko started is actually created more for the play with the different percussion instruments like a congas and claves and things like that. So what I was trying to do, it is a translate into the piano that rhythm was a Wawanko doing a this which is conga. And then play the clave with the right hand and then play the whole melody. Just to give you an idea what we try to do when we are just playing like a solo piano and we don't have the whole entire band with us. Uh, the next piece I want to play it is called Nostalgia. I wrote it uh, myself a few years ago uh, during those kind of like, uh, I want to say mellow winter times in Minnesota when, when I was missing uh, my country, Cuba, a lot, because as you know, in the even in the winter time, we get there at the night, is, which is really nice for me. So this is called Nostalgia.
I hope you like this tune. I really like it. It is sort of, you can go to so many dynamic stuff. And uh, now I want to play actually a tune. It is uh, it is called Sony F. F is uh, actually the name of one of the notes in the music, which is this one. And uh, I remember when uh, I was writing the music of uh, one of my CDs called Bembe en mi casa uh, back in 2004. I was here in my house and playing around on my piano just to get ready to warm up. And then I was playing this note for so many times. And I said, well, I should write a tune. And then uh, this idea came to my head. And um, and at the end, I decided to call like this. Sony Neff and his uh, Latin jazz.
Well, Sony Nev, I hope you like it. It's intense. It is a quite lots of notes right there. But uh, I have to tell you something. I feel blessed because, it, uh, as all of you know, uh, just a few months ago, like about three and a half months ago, on the month of March, at the end, I got these very severe symptoms of, uh, of what the doctor thought that was a COVID. And then uh, my family took me to the hospital. And then, uh, unfortunately, uh, I was in coma for uh, like uh, 14 days. And right after that, I wake up. I didn't even know what I was. and uh, But and then uh, uh, my company uh, brought me uh, a low picket and uh, Greg Eichhorn, the sound engineer of the Dakota Jazz Club, which you know that's practically my house. They brought me a keyboard to the room and was exactly when I like realistically like start to realize like you know, like I said, wow, uh, I am in very bad shape. I don't really know what happened in my body, what happened on my health. I would just wake up and I'm seeing myself in a room with lots of cables and machines and monitors and beeping. And uh, they moved me from the bed to a chair and then I put my hands for the very first time after almost 16 days without a plane. And it's when I realized that uh, I need a lot of work to do. I couldn't even move my finger and like uh, the speed I used to do it uh, with the power I used to do it. And, uh, but, you know, we have faith. Um, and I said, well, I just need to do some work to, uh, you know, keep playing, keep practicing. And I was there and this melody came to my head. And because COVID-19 is not affecting just me it is affecting you know not just me and my family it's affecting lots of million people around the world uh, i composed this very simple melody and i decided to put a title of esperanza which is actually called hope in english it's, it is uh, the hope we have we put together in terms to see this done soon and being able to back to perform in the stages that I'm being able to shake hands with all of you because that thing, like people said, I would never shake hands again. I would never give us again. Well, remember, my dear friends, I am Cuban. Here, here is your friend, Nachiru Herrera from Cuba, from White Bell Lake, Minnesota. And I cannot wait until you shake your hand again and give you a very warm Cuban hug because that's the way we deserve to do it. And I didn't want to miss the opportunity to play for all of you here and play this very simple melody. It is not mine. It is all yours. It's called Hope, Esperanza.
I hope you like it. This is my musical way to make a big hope on like a hopefully soon we are gonna all get together and celebrate something is the most important thing is celebrating the life but now I want to make a tribute to a American composer and when we talk about this specific person we don't know if put him into the jazz world or put him into the classical music world because in the very short life he got, he was able to write a lot of music from classical to jazz. But in my particular opinion, I want to say you will never be able to separate or detach George Gertrin from jazz because all music he was reading during all his life, it, it is always have this kind of feeling of those uh, New York 1930s life with the tight and suit and two-tone shoes, so those downstairs jazz clubs and things like that. Even when you play uh, American in Paris or Rhapsody in Blue, or you play the summertime, or you play I Got Rhythm, you always get that feeling of like the swing and the jazz behind that. It is a pleasure for me to play George Gatrin's music. And today, I want to play two tunes. One, or the first one, it is his very famous one, Summertime.
Wow. I love summertime. It's a wonderful piece to play. The second piece of George Gershwin I am going to play today, I uh, remember when I was actually looking for music of uh, Gershwin and also a Cuban composer. His name is um, Ernesto Lecuona because uh, it is one of the records is going to be out soon. It is actually my first solo piano album and I decide to make a tribute to these two great composers, George Gretchen and Ernesto Lecuona. And the reason why I pick up these two composers because they, they are, I want to say, the ID of their country. When you play the music of Ernesto Lecuona, which is the composer of the very famous, famous tune, the Malagueña, you can always feel that kind of Cuban feeling of dance, even under what we they call classical music. And I remember looking for the music of George Gatwin, and I went to YouTube, and uh, um, and I found this uh, video of Gatwin playing his own music, believe it or not. And I found this one. It's called I Got Rhythm. Right away, I get in love with this melody. It is really swingy, jazzy. It's really nice. Uh, at the end, he's making like a very uh, a huge glissando. Glissando in music is this. You can do it go up and down or ascending or descending, what we call in the music uh, vocabulary. And then the... Um, I get kind of uh, scared because at the end he's doing like a really fast glissando ascending and then he ended up right there which I said I better be safe so I cannot switch that but um, going descending this way but it is fun it is really nice piece to play and, and, and here we go with I got rhythm
it gave a little bit fast at the end. But believe me, I didn't do this myself. And I, like That's the way I, he is actually ending in his own video. You can watch it in YouTube. It is fantastic. And, I, um, I've, and if you haven't even watched the movie about Gertrude, the reason why I was mentioning before, like the, you can detach Gertrude from jazz is because the, he even always get in trouble with uh, his classical piano teacher because he was one of the pioneers to try to always bring classical pieces into different jazz styles like a blues and, and, and soul and things like that. So I hope you like this uh, selection of couple pieces of George Gertrude. We can play Gertrude for the whole day, you know that. But uh, we have kind of like a limited time for the, our performance here. But uh, like I said before, I definitely want to say thanks to all the people that are making this possible, at least to have this digital, uh, virtual uh, uh, connection with all of you, my dear friends, which hopefully, let's keep praying. Let's keep working together because sooner than what you think, this is going to get done. And it's going to be my pleasure to be there at the Selby Avenue and play for a really long time for all of you and bring all my Cuban musicians and invite lots of musicians and celebrate this wonderful jazz festival has been happening for many years uh, and, and supporting our uh, wonderful community. Uh, the next piece I want to play, it is actually our um, national rhythm back in my uh, first country because, you know, I am a Cuban citizen, but I am a Minnesota citizen too. <laughs> uh, so uh, my first country, Cuba, the our national rhythm is called Danzon, D-A-N-Z-O-N. It is basically created to dance, but it's from a, from 17, 1800. So even the format, the 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 kind of like a first ensembles composer to start to write and so on, but getting out of a classical music uh, orchestras. So the ensemble they used to put together to play the dance song was like a uh, clarinet, uh, three violins, two violas, one cello, one bass. Uh, we didn't have what we call today a uh, timbales instrument. So believe it or not, the rhythm was playing by the timpani player and a piano player. Duh, yeah, we need a piano to play a dance song most of the time. So uh, this is our national rhythm and this particular dance song is uh, original of myself, and uh, I decided to dedicate to the person. Uh, I always said, it is a very uh, nice phrase. He said that behind a good man is always a great woman. And I can tell you all, my dear friends, I am a very good example of it, because all my career, um, I have been having this wonderful woman I have been married for 30 years already, and she has been always one of the biggest um, inspiration I have in my life and in my career. So uh, I decided to dedicate this original piece of Danson to my lovely wife. So it is called Danson para Aurora.
Danzón para Aurora. Now I want to play another Cuban rhythm. It's called Contraranza. Uh, we use practically like the same rhythm, like this. But a big difference in between the Danzón and the Contraranza, it is actually the tempo. On the down zone is that kind of mellow, which uh, when you read the history of a creator or, 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 or like the, the creation of the down zone style, even um, lots of people say like it, uh, on these places, uh, they used to go to dance a down zone uh, when they invite, you know, obviously the men is supposed to be the gentleman and then invite the lady to a dance a danzón that piece with him, actually, they were supposed to be standing in the floor tile, kind of like a, probably like a three feet by three feet or something. So the, that wasn't a very uh, much room to dance. So they kind of stayed in there for almost the whole piece, believe it or not. That, that's true. I'm, 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 you can find it. And uh, Contra Dancer, faster, like it. And believe it or not, created to dance too. It has some different choreographies that are, uh, to do it with the contra danza. Uh, one of the things making a, a parenthesis, one of the things besides to love this instrument, um, another important reason why I decide to play piano and know to play another instrument which you need to be a stand like probably marimba or xylophone or, or timpani or any of percussion or even all right bass is because I am very bad dancer. Don't trust me when I'm dancing because I am not a good dancer at all. I, uh, so I cannot move my body pretending to walk because I get the feeling of the rhythm when I play my piano but in terms to like from there to be a, like a really good dancer, don't trust me than that, honestly. But uh, that's exactly probably why uh, I wrote this Contra Danza. Uh, I play it in a little bit of a faster uh, a tempo. And the title of the Contra Danza is One Day in Havana, Un Dia in La Habana. Try to explain in a few seconds why, because uh, uh, that, that was uh, a piece I wrote during one of the most, like the hardest winter in Minnesota, which actually a lot of friends, I remember uh, a few years ago told me, uh, they said, Nachito, you are not pronouncing the right of Minnesota because it's not called Minnesota, it's called Minnesota. And I said, oh, I'm sorry. And, and then I, I I start to see why it was called Minnesota because we got quite a little bit of snow during the winter time here. So I wrote this piece, one of those kind of like a really uh, uh, hard winter because we didn't even get uh, too much snow because there was snow in the ground already, the cold, like 40 below a windshield. And I start to look through the window and I said, well, I really would like to be able to go to my country just one day, just to recharge the batteries and get this very sunny, this uh, vitamin D from the sun and, and, and be sitting on the sand of the beach in my country. I was busy and I couldn't do it. So that's why I decided to call this Contra Danza Un Dia en La Habana.
un día en La Habana, one day in Havana, like it is really hot. Even in January, you can feel the 90s sometime, and even in hundreds during the day. In the evening, get kind of like a really, I don't even want to say the word chilly, because it, uh, if I say chilly, I am going to make an offense of the really chilly Minnesota with the 40 below. We kind of touch like the 50s, if you can tell. So, that it, so um, don't even think I am making a promotion to inviting all of you to come to my country. But if you want to do it, you are more than welcome. And specifically, like I said, it is good to at least like a couple of weeks to get rid of this uh, kind of winter here. And uh, now I want to play a piece. I remember I was playing at the Dakota Jazz Club one of these days, a few years ago. And um, one of the first time my wife and I decided to play like a solo piano performance out of the Dakota. It is a challenging because after bring different type of concerts and shows there, we say one time, let's do a solo piano. I enjoy, it is kind of like, you feel like you have freedom. Uh, but at the same time, you are missing, the, you have musicians too. But it looks like uh, my friends, the people really like what I was doing on the stage, and they 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 start to call one more, one more. I play a key one piece, and when I was getting out of the stage, they call one more, one more. And I don't know why this melody came to my head, which most of the time, I don't know, but I have been listening when you go to this, those kind of political things, like when you get your citizenship or, or things like that. But as you know, I am from Cuba, I am an immigrant, and all my family, we are immigrants. But we are so proud of this country. We love this country, and I thought this was going to be the humble way I want to, or the humble way I have to thank this country and thanks all of you, my people from Minnesota, to uh, give me the opportunity to be part of you with my wife, with my two kids, and now with almost eight grandkids. So this is the way your friend Nachito Herrera have to say thanks so much to Minnesota. Thanks so much to the whole people like David Wright, uh, like, no, Michael Wright, I'm sorry, Michael Wright and David Bunko. And, uh, and all the people are making this festival possible and all different musical activities even around this uh, very uh, uncomfortable, no sense situation with the COVID-19 possible. Um, this is my humble way, like I said before, like to say thank you so much to all of you for all, all your prayers. I know you all were praying when I was in the very bad shape at the fourth floor of the hospital at the Uni University of Minnesota at the ICU, which now I want to take advantage and take them, please, thanks for the job you guys are always doing, trying to save life. Uh, and right after that, uh, after I play this piece, that I am going to invite my special guest, uh, my daughter, Midalis. Herrera is going to come to sing a couple of tunes for you too. But here is my tribute to all of you, to this country, to the United States.
I hope you like it. God bless all of you. God bless America. We are going to take a short break now, just a couple of minutes, and do a setup to bring my daughter here. Okay? Just a couple of minutes. See you. Uh, here we are back. And I said we because I had the pleasure to bring one more time to sing with me my daughter, Midalis Herrera. Uh, I remember uh, that was in 2003 when my family came from Cuba because I had to spend here like in a couple of years by myself working on like all immigrants work which I don't want to you know bother you with that and I remember I was playing at the old Dakota in St. Paul in Bandana Square and my wife uh, came and, and she told me uh, why you don't invite your daughter to sing a tune with you. And, and I said, are you sure? And she said, yes, of course. Being heard and we sang, well, she sang a tune. And uh, I don't know if the age was to start to kind of like work in my body in that time, which is some <laughs> tears to start to come out of my eye. And seems that was, uh, she became more like part of the whole different projects uh, we have been doing for uh, many years already. For the duo, trio, quintet, quartet, orchestras, and she has been singing with the Minnesota Orchestra, with uh, Metropolitan Orchestra. And so, and it's a pleasure for me now invite her again to sing a couple of tunes. The first one, it is called Tres palabras, three words. Oye la confesión de mi secreto. Nace de un corazón que está desierto con tres palabras te diré todas mis cosas cosas del corazón Mi 
next piece, we always have a way to do things. And we always have our own way to do things. So, um, and I think it is always when we use that and doing it on the proper way, in a good way, we always can say, well, why not to do it in my way?